Hey guys, what's going on? Tonight we're going to make a super simple, easy pizza dough that we're going to later grill outside on the barbecue. But let's start off every cooking session properly with another shot of Fireball. I like to be Fireball. Cheers. Okay, super easy. You can start off, very first thing, three quarters of a cup of beer, whatever kind of beer you like. Um, make sure you use a warm beer, don't use cold beer. Um, then we're gonna go with either one packet or one tablespoon of yeast. And ignore the dog that's wanting to come in because he likes to be filmed. And I actually did this out of order, but it'll still work. And you're gonna want one teaspoon the flour to throw some uh, something for the yeast to eat. So get that. And sprinkle that in there. Then we'll just kind of mix her up a little bit. Set this off to the side. We'll bring that back into the picture here in a little bit. Alright. Inside here we've got three cups of uh, uh, flour, and you don't have to use a mixer. I just like using it because I finally found a cheap one used for a really good price. So I use the hell out of it. In your three cups of uh, flour, you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. So we're only looking at about that much. About the same of uh, uh, red chili flakes, red chili peppers, the crush ones, like that. All right, so that's going to go in there. You know what, we're going to add a little extra in that. We kind of like spicy, and this isn't by any means going to be able be enough to really spice it up that much. You're going to add that. Wait, I forgot to be olive oil. You need um, two tablespoons of EVOO. Let's get that in there. Okay guys, all I did was step away for about 10-15 minutes, let the uh, uh, yeast come to bloom, and that basically starts getting nice and frothy up on top, and toss that in, all that goodness in there, now we're just going to turn on the pot for the uh, kitchen aid, don't need to go fast, just let it go. Okay guys, okay, one thing I did forget to mention, and I'm going to annotate this, um, which somebody forgot to tell me. Fortunately, I've made bread enough times before, not making pizza dough, but bread that I knew it wasn't looking right. I was told three quarters of a cup of beer, and that was it. Didn't sound right, but I never made it. The flour or the uh, dough wasn't coming together. So have yourself another, basically a cup of water set aside, but only put in a half a cup. Mix it. Keep mixing it until it starts coming together. Need a little more water? Add a little bit at a time. I took three quarters of a cup. I added half a cup. Watched it, add another quarter cup, worked out perfectly. Once you're done, your dough should look like this, not be sticky to the touch. And pull off your dough hook and get that out of the way. Now, take this, you want to cover it, put it in a dry, warm place. For me, Southern Arizona, I'm heading outside, I'm going to put a towel over this and let it sit for 30 minutes. After that, we'll bring it back for the rollout. Okay, we've been about 20 so minutes, something like that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get our dough going. Now, don't expect it to rise like a regular, regular bread, but it does rise a little bit. So, do a little punch. Oh, we're gonna put some flour down here anyway. I forgot to put some flour in there. I really should have, but it doesn't work. Still comes out pretty easy. There we go. Now, I don't have a rolling pin, so we're just gonna Kind of mash it out, do a quick knead, just fold it over, kersmush it, fold it over, kersmush it, fold it over, kersmush it. Who invented kersmush? I want to know. And you should really do this with your smart hand. Um, it just seems to work better. Smart hand? Yes, there is a difference. Your smart hand and your dumb hand. Which one are you better at? Right or left? Are you right-handed or left-handed? Okay, that should work. Now, 
Okay, so I was wrong. As I'm filming that little segment, my wife informed me, we do have a glowing pin. We do have a glowing pin. We do have a glowing pin. She's been in here with me, and I've used beer bottles, and I've broken beer bottles on food and dough and doing meat and stuff like that, and she never told me we had one of these. She is a silly, silly, silly woman. Of course, she married me, so that should give some explanation. I should have just done this on the counter. Make that a little easier. Okay, once you get it, counter rolled out a little bit. Kind of start slapping back and forth between your hands. Guess what, folks? We got ourselves a pizza dough, bitch! Shut up, boy! We got ourselves a pizza dough, bitch! Get on it, make it! Now you just treat it like any store bought pizza dough. It doesn't need to be a perfect circle, it can be a square. Do whatever you want.